Lilo. Dada's wearing your papa. <gasps> Say no, Dada. Dada. All right, J. Clay, let's go. Okay, J. Clay's asked me for some fashion advice. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> but look, look at it with this. Hold on. You gotta look at it with these. But for Vegas, mom, like, okay, this, this is, I'm, listen, dad said he's not getting dressed up. Like a me. brunch Just be with the ladies. So the, with the old ladies. With the just like, <laughs> old ladies from church. Or like a craft party. Okay. Or like okay, a Tupperware party, like but that. for <laughs> Vegas, this is an over me. No. Oh, no. These select. These yeah. select. I caught her trying these on the other day. And the more I tried them on again today. Don't like them. I'm, I, I saw them. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with that. These three people, cargo pants. These dad. Like me. Mom. It's cute again. No, it's, it's not. It's cute with that. Yeah, look, I got pictures of me trying. You on. love blue. You love this blue. blue. The color, I look. Like this is like, cute. Uh, occasionally, like, look, I got a burgundy. This is literally called I'm in the choir. I'm this for is fight night. night for Vegas. No, no, no. For a fight night, I was thinking these. That is very, very, very cute. Obsessed. Love the jean jacket. Okay, are you gonna wear some heel boots? Um, to tie one of those two boots. Perfectly. These have got to go back to the pilgrimage. I don't know <laughs> what these are, but they gotta go. I'm a conservative. Yes, you're a modest, modest queen. Oh, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, but J. Clay, like, look, she got the tatas for it. And it's honestly cute. And it's silky. But these, we gotta figure this out because this is a yes. Mom. I don't think I'm taking these, honestly. Mom, you asked for my advice. You're not gonna listen to me. You're gonna come with the freaking choir outfit. The little cinch moment. It's so big. Awful. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's awful. Do you really think so? Oh my god. No, I can't let you do this. <laughs> Please tell her that she is better than this. You guys saw her slay the family photos. Tell her no. And I give Giggy kisses and hugs. I love you. I love I you. you. I... Here we go. You, okay? Let's go night night. <laughs> See you in the morning. finish getting ready. I mean, I can get ready in the car. We have like an hour drive to the airport, but let's go. We are going to Vegas, baby. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna do some moisturizer, tinted, and we'll do the rest later. I'm running on like no sleep. I stayed up last night editing. Woke up super early this morning to pack. Raise your hand to pack the day of your flight. Let alone hours before your flight. I don't know why I live this way. FDD and JK said the best. I just thrive in the chaos. I should probably make sure Jake clothes up because we have to leave and I have not even heard her. Where are the diapers and wipes? In the, di in the Louis Vuitton black bag. All right, well, that's all we have time for. We will do the rest in the car. We gotta go. Okay, let's go. Made it in the car. We're on our way to the airport. Got my coffee. My daughter's being... Testing. <laughs> Me and Sam are in Vegas and we're literally like, well, what do we do? <laughs> like we have the fight plan tomorrow and we have a show plan on Sunday. She did not want to go to bed and then she did not want to wake up. You want to go get a coffee with Pap Abby? <laughs> We are on day 15 of our Vlogmas Bible Study Challenge. I'm using my phone on the Bible app today. It's honestly not the same as having the good old physical copy in your hands. 
but it honestly is crazy that we have access to the Bible at our fingertips at literally any time. Like, this is so 2023. Okay, so this chapter has three different parables that Jesus is teaching, and it's all one big theme. He's teaching about redemption that leads to rejoicing. In each of these stories, we're gonna learn about a character who has something so valuable to them, something that they love, something that they care about, and then they lose it. And when they lose it, they don't just forget about it or move on and just use the rest of what they have. They go searching for it. And once they find it, they rejoice. So I'll dive deeper into what each of these parables talk about and give you guys that visualization. But I wrote here in my notes that each of these parables represent sinners who leave God foolishly, unknowingly, or rebelliously. So maybe you've left God because you enjoy the sin that you're in just way too much. Or maybe you've left God unknowingly. Maybe you're just lazy. You're not in the word. You don't have a relationship with him. Maybe you left God because you're mad at him. Maybe you don't trust him. Maybe you're in the wrong environment surrounded by the wrong people or the wrong influences and they're leading you further from God instead of closer to him. Romans 3.23 says that at one point every single person is a lost sheep. We're in the darkness. We're lost. We don't know God. But from a website called BibleRef.com it says that God seeks out the sinners. He seeks out the lost people. He waits patiently for the rebellious to come to him, to come home and to surrender to him. God did not intend for us to carry all of this weight of the world on our backs on our own. He didn't intend for us to get right with ourselves or to self-medicate or to do all these things on our own. He calls us to come to him, to lay everything at the altar. Just like the quote, let go and let God, that is what he's calling us to do. As followers of Christ, he wants to take all of our burdens. He wants to take all of our flaws, our sin, our shame, our guilt, our baggage. He wants us to come as we are to him, surrender it all to him, and he will do the work, and he will take care of us, and he calls us home. Okay, so let me just dive into each of these parables. I want to just kind of describe them really quickly to you. The first one is the parable of the lost sheep. So this one talks about a shepherd who has 100 sheep. Okay, and one of them gets lost. So he still has 99. And instead of being like, okay, well that one's lost, I have my other 99. No, he goes searching because he loves these sheep. He tends them, he cares for them. He leaves the 99 to find the one. And that's exactly what Jesus, our good shepherd does for us. When someone is lost, even if it's just one person, he goes searching for them, he goes seeking them. He doesn't care if you're just one person, you are one person that means everything to him. So just like this shepherd goes searching for that one sheep, he he finds him and he rejoices. The next parable starting on verse eight is about a woman who loses a coin. She has 10 coins, she loses one. And instead of just being like, well, I have nine other coins. No, she wants that one coin that she lost. It means something to her, it has value. So she goes diligently searching until she finds that coin. Again, she finds it and she rejoices. She is so happy, she's filled with joy, more peace. She has all of her coins. And then the last one starting on verse 11, this parable is of the lost or prodigal son. It's a man, he has two sons, an older and a younger. The younger one comes to him and says, dad, I want my inheritance, I want all my own stuff. So the dad gives in, he gives his youngest son the inheritance. The son takes it, he leaves his father, he goes off on his own, he ends up going broke and in despair. He spends all of his inheritance on sinful things, living a sinful lifestyle style. He messes up. He's broken. He's in despair. So he comes back to his father. He says, father, at least let me be your servant. I can work for a wage. I can at least get fed. I need to come back home. And instead of the father rejecting him and being like, nope, you left. You took everything you had. You did all the wrong things. I don't want you anymore. He welcomed him back home with open arms and he rejoiced when the son was found. And that's so much like God. So many times God gives us things out of the good of his heart and we use it for all the wrong things. And when we call God to come back home, he doesn't reject us. Okay, so I wanna close with this. In all of these parables, like I said, it starts off with somebody losing something valuable. When they find it, they rejoice. This is the exact same thing that happens whenever God loses one of his children. They're lost in the world, they're in darkness, they're in sin, they're tempted by the devil. They do all of these wrong things, but when they come back to him, and once they're found, he rejoices. Not only does God himself rejoice, but all the angels, all of heaven rejoices when just one sinner repents and turns back to God. It says, who once was dead is now alive and he who was lost is now found. Like, do you grasp that? All of heaven, all of the angels, God himself rejoices when you choose to repent and come back to him. So many times people think that Christianity is so lonely because you do, you leave your old ways. But even though it may not be the popular thing to do earthside it's not lonely you have all of heaven you have all the angels and you have God himself 
on your side and in your corner. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up chapter 15 today. Thank you so much for sticking around for another Bible study. Hi, guys. It's the next morning, so... <laughs> We literally didn't even do much yesterday. We went to a really nice Hello. dinner at this Mexican restaurant. Mommy. What? Okay. I love you. Mommy. Yeah, you're not stuck. You're being silly. Um, we ate at this place called Javier's. You guys, it's a ripe 6 a.m. And it was so good. I got an enchilada. I was calling it an enchilada. I've been calling it an enchilada my whole life. I'm embarrassed. Mexican food is my favorite food and I've been calling it that. Anyways, like I said, it's the next morning. I'm gonna put what I had from yesterday, but I don't have that much. Today is when things start to pick up. We're gonna go to a UFC fight and then tomorrow we have a show, so I will film everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna end the vlog and then pick up a brand new one right here. So I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Elena, have a really, really chilly. No. I was a nice